सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल टू सेल टू एम डी एस डेंटल अकेडमी सो आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड स्ट्रगलिंग हार्ड इन योर यू कैन से हसलिंग हार्ड इन योर राइट इन राइट डायरेक्शन दैट इज फॉर योर नीट एम डी एस एंड यू शुड हसल रादर दैन यू यूज अ गुड वर्ड दैट इज हसल रादर दैन दिस स्ट्रगल फाइन एंड रिमेंबर इफ यू हसल प्रॉपरली द ग्रोथ इज योर्स सो डी फ्रेंड टूडे ही आर वी आर विद द इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन फॉर योर नीट एंड एम्स एम डी एस as you know that the neat and aims exam pattern has totally changed in last 3 to 4 years there were added new questions so few of them we have discussed in last uh, youtube lecture like emqs that is extended matching question true and false match the following uh, assertion region case based scenarios and multiple things we have discussed in last lecture and we have also seen how to deal with them if somebody have not uh, watch it please you can press on the i button above and can see it so today we are here with the image based question which forms around 7 to 10% of your questions okay and these are completely bankable question dear friends if you know the image you are going to get four marks so you should be very thorough in such question fine so we will see a few important image of the oral surgery today and along with that at the end we will have around uh, 10 to 15 points a cleft lip cleft palate discussion so let's get started with the video so dear friends what's the image given in the color plate so there are three options that is a condylar retractor weeder's tongue retractor or wachmann's cat paw retractor so dear friend the answer is condylar retractor so when you study such image based question question you have to focus on two things first you should know what the option is and second you have to see the image of the other option also so in that manner you can cover multiple uh, images and question fine so this image is condylar retractor the name only suggest condylar means it is used for some condylar procedure so remember this condylar retractor is used during the releasing of ankylosis and what is the retractor function basically it is used for the protection we retract our tongue we retract our cheek mucosa why to protect them so this condylar retractor is used during condylar surgery for the releasing of uh, ankylosis to protect the medial soft tissues fine let's see the another thing that this is what this is your weeder's tongue retractor you can see it's a heart shaped retractor fine and this retractor is commonly used for the retraction of the tongue in medial and anterior direction fine dear friends and whenever you use any kind of tongue retractor remember that do not place it more posteriorly otherwise what it can cause it can cause gagging to the patient and also one thing you should note in this uh, diagram of condylar retractor that it looks like your tongue depressor but it is little narrow and she shape from one end fine so what is that this is your wachmann's cat paw retractor so you can see the one end of the instrument it looks like the cat paw most commonly used for the retraction of your soft tissues mucosa skin fine so these are few retractors now let's focus what's the uh, image given in the color plate it is your mouth gag but which type of whether it's a doens mouth gag or ferguson mouth gag remember dear friend normally we use mouth gag to keep the mouth open during your general anesthesia procedures while doing on the chair side we use simple mouth props but for the anesthesia procedure we require a such type of instrument so this is your doens mouth gag most often remember this uh, Uh, mouth gag is two part the one part we can see the flat serrated end so this serrated end we keep on the maxillary or mandibular teeth and the other end we use to keep the mouth open so this is your doens mouth gag now what is this this is your ferguson mouth gag fine so please note the minor details between the doens and ferguson mouth gag okay let's you have to find out the technique or you can say the instrument present in your opg so what it looks if it is your alrix arch bar bone plate wire holder or skin hook that is your bone plate in last image based discussion uh, video which we have done that was about your bone plate only okay so we have seen different types of plate like monocortical screws bicortical screw this is your bone plate and you can see one more thing it has followed the shamfis principles fine so what it indicates it is your alrix arch bar with interdental wiring fine so know the difference between the bone plates and your arch bar and uh, dear friend uh, one more thing the live chat box is open here so this is a youtube live premiere 
if you want any help any doubt you can answer you can question me i'm there for you to solve now let's come to few another question that is the suture so what it indicates it indicates your sling suture fine what is sling suture it is one of the most commonly suture in the oral cavity and remember it is the combination of two interrupted suture fine and the main advantage of the sling suture is that for example if you uh, done the suturing and you have found anywhere the abscess has occurred so there is no need to remove the full suture you can remove the uh, uh, part where the abscess is there you can remove that suture from the part where abscess is there it is not like your vertical mattress or horizontal mattress suture where you have to when you cut it the full suture we have to remove fine so this suture so we can say the independent uh, entity completely so this is your sling suture it is most commonly used in your oral cavity here we can see one mcq i just reminded so when you go for suturing how much needle should be inserted into the skin area of the mucosa area remember it is around 3 mm one of the most important mcq fine let's now see what it indicates it is your continuous over and over suture it is also known as water tight suture difference in this video i kept the different suture only i not kept the simple horizontal mattress vertical mattress interrupted suture because we know those suture but such type of diagram is there we may get confused fine so it is your continuous over and over suture what is it it is your continuous locking suture see between the two suture the locking is there fine so it is your continuous locking suture so i hope all are well versed with the different types of sutures we have seen now let's focus on the flap why we use flap uh, we use flap uh, to uh, for example to remove the fracture root tips in case of the cyst or certain kind of the pathological condition we tend to use flap but most commonly we use flap for the endodontic surgery like arachisectomy so now we will see the different type of flap so what the diagram indicates it indicates your trapezoidal flap so what is a trapezoidal flap your trapezoidal flap remember has one horizontal incision at the uh, gingival sulcus area and we have a two oblique or vertical incision so it is this is flap is used when you require to treat two or more teeth but one of the biggest disadvantage of this flap is that it can cause gingival recession so that was your trapezoidal flap now what it indicates it is your triangular flap it's a l shaped incision with your two vertical releasing incision it is a one of the most common flap used for the apical surgery fine then envelope flap it looks like a small envelope so you can see here only in the diagram only cervical line is visible so this flap is used when you need to work around the cervical areas of the tooth most commonly used for the incisors canines and premolars so dear friend in exam they will not only ask you that identify the flap okay they also may ask you that indication of the flap the contraindication of the flap so you should have the correct idea or correct knowledge for the particular things so that is your annual of flap what is this this is your semilunar flap it is also one of the most common used flap for your root and surgery okay so we have seen all the different different four type of flaps that is your trapezoidal flap triangular flap annual of flap and the semilunar flap let's go with another entity so what it indicates which type of malopathy classification it is so you know the malopathy classification is one of the important diagnostic tool when you go for the general anesthesia or any sedation procedure because we require intubation we have to done so the idea is class 1 and class 2 so what it indicates it is your class 1 malopathy grading everybody should know the classification of malopathy grading as well as asa classification fine now we see different types of malopathy score class 1 to class 4 normally when you see the textbook they have given no lot of things like this is visible this is visible but we should focus what important is that remember in class 1 you can see the soft palate complete visualization of soft palate will be there in class 2 the complete visualization of the ulva will be there in class 3 you can see only the base of the ulva wherever in class 4 soft palate is not at all visible so in this manner you have to differentiate the malopathy scores now let's come to few uh, general surgery equipment that is identify the instrument present in the color pet whether it's a rails tube your polis catheter your infant feeding tube or your rubber drain 
dear friend it is your rails tube so how everybody is knowing what is a rails tube it is your nasogastric tube so from the name all you can suggest it has relation with the nasal and the gastric that's your stomach area so remember this uh, rails tube has two end one hollow end and one we can say the blunt end so that blunt end which is you can see green in color is inserted through your nose into the stomach area after that you know what they do we blow the air and check with the stethoscope whether the air is going or not after then only we feed the food so this is your nasogastric rails tube fine then this what it indicates it's your Foley's catheter it is inserted into your bladder to for make the urination to run fine so that's your Foley's catheter which is this it is your infant feeding tube so dear friend remember don't get confused between the rails tube and the infant feeding tube the infant feeding tube uh, the size is little less and also it is very short because the uh, infant or the children don't have that much big size so always differentiate between the rails and the infant feeding tube it also has same purpose used for the nasogastric work okay for the food feeding then what it indicates dear friend it is your corrugated rubber end so uh, this rubber drain has a corrugated surface so most commonly it is used for you know large abscess for the continuous draining and it is sutured at the abscess area fine and uh, that can be questioned that how many days you have to put this co uh, corrugated rubber and you can put for a period of three to five days fine that can be one more mcv just a reminded for the foley's catheter so how many week you can keep the foley's uh, uh, catheter in the bladder for the uh, urination to done or for to empty your urine for a period of around 2 to 12 weeks fine so we have seen few important mcqs hope that can be helpful to you so as i have told we'll discuss very few important points regarding clcp this all points have been asked in the examination you just i thought i will discuss with you a additive point remember the cleft lip with palate is the most common how cleft lip occur when your medial nasal process and lateral maxillary process fail to meet fine how cleft palate occur when your two lateral palatine processes fail to meet fine then few treatment or we can say important dates related to clcp remember at birth the clcp team evaluates the children fine and the team cons consists of many doctors like pediatric dentist anesthetologist pediatrician otologist uh, plastic surgeon speech therapist etc so team of around eight to nine percent is there at 10 week remember first the repair of cleft lip is done at one year again the children is re-evaluated by your cleft team at 12 to 18 months the soft and hard pellets are repaired remember first the hard pellet is repaired then they go for the soft pellet repair it is even one the controversial thing but depend on the feasibility they go for the repair but at around one to one and a half year the soft and hard pellet surgeries are done at five to eight years we go for the interceptive orthodontics because few time what we can see the complete crossbite is there uh, we can say the bilateral crossbite is there because the palatine process have properly not properly developed so growth of the maxilla is not proper so at five to eight years we go for the interceptive orthodontics mostly maxillary expansion we go at nine to eleven years we have to go for the alveolar cleft bone grafting one of the important mcq recently asked in aims exam so why it is used uh, what is uh, purpose of your alveolar cleft bone grafting to allow the eruption of canine teeth fine at 12 to 13 years we start with the comprehensive that's a fixed orthodontics and at 14 to 16 years some orthopedic surgery and nasal surgery that's a rhinotomy is done if at all required fine dear friends so that was all for the today's youtube premier lecture hope you understand uh, different types of image and everything and just uh, our complimentary series is going on anybody if you want to uh, join you can uh, contact me the information is there on the screen as well as in the as well as in the description box and along with that dear friends uh, we are starting from the may second week with our revision s series to know the timetable fees details and you know exam schedule and any other thing you can contact me fine dear friends till then take care and remember i always uh, tell that you all have the wings just to require to spread it and go with the flow. Okay? Bye friends.